Hey guys, back again. So, out of all your um, comments and the like, I've pretty much surmised that uh, it takes a lot to be a gem trail. To be germaphobe, uh, very, very like size zero skinny. Uh, and you know this that has to go so I suppose it's like Hitler's youth really isn't it? it's like um the Swedish more or less like you know remember Hitler's little um uber humans the blonde hair and the blue eyes and uh, you know the perfect specimen of a man that this is what it takes to be a gem trailer because to fit into those little Wehrmacht uniforms that you all have, you know. Well, there you go. So I guess I won't be a gem trail then. But, um, you know, I live, I'll move on, whatever. Uh, so, I'm not here specifically to slag off Gemma this time okay not that I was to begin well I was because she puts in for it but either way this could be somewhat of a solution to your problems now I know a lot of you aren't too up on the YouTube or the YouTubers um, especially Gemma's crowd because it's either her videos or cats I suppose they're looking at pissing themselves or whatever so here's what she could have done rather than run around uh, Barrow Street just embarrassing herself and everybody else stems back to Jake and Logan Paul two of the biggest YouTubers and PewDiePie not that I understand, not that you will understand these names because, again, you're out running around like headless chickens, you know. So these people, three of the biggest YouTubers gone, they have flouted uh, YouTube laws left, right and centre. The two uh, Paul brothers came over from Vine, when Vine was shut down, they were just six second videos which is really what Gemma just should have in the first place um so they came across and they just floated every youtube law there was to the point one of them went on a tour of japan and they took a quick tour of a place nicknamed the suicide forest and they basically uh, video of the body hanging from a tree you know I'm not sure how long it was there no there was international uproar about it um, they were like shot down from all levels but they still kept their YouTube channels and they are still major players now I'm pretty sure Gemma hasn't uh, filmed a dead body hanging from a tree like her career is hanging from a tree probably at this point but I'm presumed she hasn't filmed that so and the other guy PewDiePie the biggest uh, gamer platform on YouTube at the moment uh, has dropped the n-word so many times at this point and being affiliated so to speak with the NZ shooting the mosque shootings the whole works just being randomly tagged with the shooters even mentioning him by name he still has his channel still has his channels still making major bucks off uh, sponsorships all that now far be it for me to question the intelligence of most of you being that you know a lot of your intelligence is questionable at this point uh, or at least most of you in the comments uh, what I would say to the intelligent ones out there that can actually drop some sort of decent comment and can actually pick up on what I'm trying to say tell her whatever to get 
no, just to begin with, Gemma shouldn't have lost her channels to begin with, okay? I will say that, I've said it in the comments the whole time, she shouldn't have lost her channels, but she did. That's just how it fucking rolls. She lost them. One reason she shouldn't have lost them, because it was her reacting to something she had read, which means it's a complete reaction video, so she shouldn't have. But obviously she had done uh, something like this before and being reported it was a legal document that got her channels taken down either way. But why doesn't she take some of that chunk of money she got from being fired from the Independent or whatever rag it was? Go to court. Get her channels back because all she has to do is basically use these other channels as examples get her channels back and set precedents because even if she does get the channels back like i said it takes most of those followers that she has off the fucking straight and back in to where they're used to seeing her which is on uh, youtube or whatever else because what is peaceful protest ever got in this country nothing is what it's got in this country nothing you thought they'd all done it with the water charges god forbid it was brilliant uh nearly quarter of a million people out whatever and they still send out the water charges in fact now they've broke it down to the point where they know if they hit everyone and everyone doesn't like it there's going to be a mass protest so they've hit eighty thousand people with them this time there's not going to be the same amount of protest as there was last time that's how they do it. Nothing has come through peaceful protests. Turkey didn't get that coup d'etat going with peaceful protests. There's plenty of the yellow vests over in France at the minute, whatever. They're not getting shit done by peaceful protests. What are you doing outside Google? Peacefully protesting with a fucking, the heaviest thing there is a lad with a tin whistle. Yeah, brilliant. You're doing great jobs, lads. Making a fucking fool of yourselves. Here's what you should do. If Gemma was fucking serious, she wouldn't be running around with protesting the big corporations. They don't give a fuck. What she should do, like I said, get a chunk of that fucking money, take a case against Google, get her fucking channels back. That way she can set precedents, which means every other numbskull with a channel like hers can go off and get their own channels back. If they haven't done too much um, in the line of damage saying shit on them, they can get them back. You can all be fucking happy at that point, okay? Simple fucking as. But no, Gemma wouldn't want to do that because that will mean there'll be something in it for someone else. Gemma wants to be able to stick the two fingers up at Google, get her channels back and walk away. The only problem is she can't. This is the only way she can do it. Set precedence for everybody else. And then maybe she'll have been fucking worthwhile for something. Okay? That's what she should have done. That's what she should do still. while she still fucking can. But she won't. Okay? So drop your fucking comments. Drop a good debate. Just drop your usual fucking insults like you usually do. Either way, lads, I've just told you how it should be done. It's up to you how you convey that message to her or whatever. I'm just saying it's there to be done. But uh, somehow I don't see it happening over and out.